Hello everybody and welcome to the second round World Cup match between Guinness and Junior 84. Guinness is, oh it's a, it's a perfect defence, interesting. Um, Guinness has won the toss and chose to receive, obviously Wizard Man Mirror. Guinness has blue clothes on <laughs> and Junior 84 has black and white. It's really hard to tell them apart though seeing as most of it is the pale blue. Um, skin, but there you go, this might get confusing. Um, Guinness is the defending champ, but he had to qualify through NATTS, and he's got a 68% win rate in Champs Ladder. Jun Ooh, wow, what a beautiful, what a beautiful scatter. So, you know, Junior pretty lucky there, getting three tackle zones, perfect scatter for him. Um, Junior 84 qualified through DBBC. And doesn't play champs either, but he does play tabletop tournaments. Um, so yeah, that's he could have even put the Crocs there, couldn't he? And that would have that would have really paid off for him. Both both uh, coaches took a Crocs uh, block on their Crocs as their double, which makes sense because they're both going to be, you know, kind of relying on their Crocs to do stuff. He's going to one day here, isn't he, for a push for a two D, and then pick up an tackle zone. Makes sense. Maybe if he'd put block on, you know. So there you go. So, you know, Guinness got the dice to remove these tackle zones, but maybe, maybe Junior could have put the Crocs there. Maybe he could have put block guy there. You know, so. Made the four plus pick up, but failed the one in nine dodge. But already, yeah. You know, he's under a lot of pressure, isn't he? Um, Guinness straight away there. But maybe he could have made it more pressure. Maybe he could have stuck even more in there. Of you know, there was no danger of a touchback. I mean, he did get one of the perfect scatters there. I don't know. I think I wouldn't have hated if he'd gone in harder, and it would have paid off. Especially block on him would have paid off massively, wouldn't it? But um, you know, it's still you know, it, it's easy to say because of the way the dice have gone. Should have done this. Blitzing a skink here on a GFI, I'm not sure about that. Um, but I mean, I understand it because he wants he wants to get the ball and the ball is under pressure, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. You could even GFI get the crocs on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Yeah. Oh yeah, getting the crocs on is really good, isn't it? I think maybe he should have gone through with the, with the skinks a bit as well. Yeah. yeah, I think this skink should tag him. No. Because that, that's given him the 2D, isn't it? Pretty much. I think he should have. Maybe he's. Maybe he's gone harder. He, he's. He's put pressure on. But he's also. Leaving a bit. Ah, just get the scatter. Okay. So he, he could have dealt with the props. But get to the. Uh, Change him out. Mm -hmm. No, change his own guy. <laughs> wow, Kaz. Turn two Kaz. Absolutely huge. He's just going to two dice the Crocs with a skink. Oh man. How humiliating for that poor Crocs. <laughs> Smacked in the teeth by a skink. <laughs> But yeah, he didn't. He didn't have any support, did he? He didn't have any support for the crops. That was the thing. I think Junior eighty four here has been guilty a bit of a bit of a half man's, hasn't he? Uh, the old Tyrian defense. He, he got in in some places, but not in others. Actually, we didn't like this place. I saw this one live uh, from this turn. I would have blitzed this guy. The reason being, I could have then assisted the block on the crocs. He's left himself having to one dice the crocs here. Um, and I would have liked to have blitzed this guy in some fashion. But, you know, like, again, nitpicking things. You know. But just for the benefit of of the stream, I'm not hating on anybody. But yeah, a Kaz on, a Kaz on turn two is pretty lucky, isn't it? From Guinness. But, you know, it was as a result of Junior 84 putting the pressure on with a perfect defence. So it's certainly... Not just, you know, oh wow, Guinness is a lucky so-and-so, he's made a Kaz. It, you know, it's definitely 
tricky. He is going to do some more chains here and get scatters. Makes sense. But, you know, the scatter could go really badly. Um, and this is one of those situations where as soon as he does it, he's like, oh, that scatter was brilliant. But, you know, <laughs> you know it, it could have gone the other way, couldn't it? And then and then the block for the scatter, you'd be thinking, oh, why did I scatter it? But it was in it was in the tackle zones already, so he kind of had to scatter it there. I think. I think anybody would have done that. Just a stun, not a big deal. And he probably wants to not follow here to try to get his tackler involved in punching skins. I thought he had a cage ready there, <laughs> but this was this was junior skiing. This is the problem with the uh, he uses his reroll on the pickup, and this is the only place he can stand. And he's got to make these two dodges, absolutely crucial dodges there. If he'd failed either of those, it was two dice on the ball with block, and. Um, I mean, well played by Guinness to get out of get out of the horrible situation he was in. Absolutely. It, it's still not good. It's still not good. But the fact that he's stunned two guys gives him a lot of breathing room, I think, from how bad it was. A stun straight back. <laughs> two stuns. Two of his own are stunned now, so it's going to be another test. Again, I'm not sure I like the the non-follow there and the running back. I think I think you know Junior has given up hits here to try to do things, and then you know hasn't fully committed everything to it, maybe. But you know that's being harsh. I don't want to be. I don't want to be harsh on anybody. Um, at the end of the day, he's, he's put some pressure on, and it looks like Guinness has escaped it. Nope, fails a dodge. Oop. Now his crocs is really out. Like that was the thing. You, getting the crocs on the ball was pretty nice, I thought. But now he's way out of position, and he's just scrambling to get back into anything, isn't he? Good old elf screen. So yeah, basing, you know, I would have rather just had these guys not in contact with the fact that this is a screen. Or left that guy in contact because others were in contact. So this is very much half half manzing at the moment. Good. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Guinness, Guinness has played um, how many games has he played? About three hundred in Champs Ladder. Pretty much, nearly all of them with with lizards. So 
he's got a good handle on how to use their advantages whereas I don't know which racers Junior uses in tabletop but you know although yes all races are the same and you know there's not a whole lot of difference whether you're a bash team or an agility team but you know he's certainly a lot more comfortable isn't he he's a lot more in his comfort zone playing lizards than any other race so he's got that going for him he's kind of always in his comfort zone isn't he in the, in the, in the world cup in the world cup situation I don't like this from a uh, junior he's given Guinness the cage over here I'm just guessing that was eight squares and he could cage exactly there it's funny isn't it Oh, big bonehead. He wanted the he wanted the crocs out there, didn't he? I'm not moving the carrier yet. Or the cage. Before making an unsafe block. This is two dice in the ball, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. So two GFIs for two dice in the ball. Got to go for it, I think. Obviously make a bunch of safe moves first. Don't think you should block first. Oh, just one dodge, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, that's that's better, isn't it? I forgot they had stunt me. <laughs> well, more more that just didn't consider. I don't like one in nines, I'd rather do the two GFIs, even though it didn't, you know, because I'd just be more likely to get there. But I guess dodging means that you've got your reroll available for the hit if you make it, so. Yeah, good, good cage dive. Junior 84 there, absolutely. I'm surprised Guinness, to be honest, did leave it so kind of on. But I think maybe he should have got this guy back. You know, so I think he should have got somebody back before he did the cage down. Of course, he wouldn't have had the recovery then, but I think popping it was fine. I'm just getting some of that. Both the rerolls on pickups. One of the reasons why I value sure hands so highly on Sphinx. Another cast. So, I mean, you know. Guinness has been really lucky making two present swords, which is a huge part of what wins this match. Um, but also, Junior has been basing very aggressively to try and make things happen. And, you know, Guinness has played well and positioned well. So, you know, that, that you know it's kind of risk reward when you, when you kind of adopt this strategy that Junior has. So it's not... It's not so crazy that Guinness has made a lot more AV roads and, and tube cars, but still, not nice, is it? <laughs> if you're Junior 84. He's got a double GFI, so he's paying the price for not moving that guy back last turn.
gonna go for the cage dive, isn't he? Surely. Who makes a random dodge first? And dies. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that was that's pretty unlucky. So uh, so and that, and that's it. No one is at three cars. They're three first half cars as well, aren't they? So now this is looking um, very simple. Three dice with. Block tackle. I don't know what the point of all this is. Maybe it's in case he triple skulls. But I mean, you know, the, the perfect defense was really horrible for him, and you know, it was really scary. You know, Junior did put a lot of pressure on. Maybe he could have, maybe he could have applied more pressure or played it differently. But you know, again, it's you could talk about that forever. At the end of the day, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not criticizing him really or thinking that he should, or thinking that he should regret anything he did because there's just. It's just things you could have done differently, isn't it? it doesn't mean that you should have done them differently. So Guinness leaving the two squares, I like it one square back because then you can um then you can't do the chain from here. This would have been a pretty easy one turn attempt. For Junior 84, because he could have used the whole method. He could have not used, didn't have to use the whole method. Now it looks like he's playing for a ride, which. Okay, he got a perfect defense. I think if you're playing Lizard Man in the World Cup or on tabletop, you should be able to. to you know, you should be trying for one turn there, absolutely. I think. That is poor. And quite frankly, I'm not being horrible. I do think he should have set for the one for the one turn. Absolutely. This was this was a, a pretty easy to work out. Easy to work out the chain pushes to get him forward. Now it's not easy to just roll pushes. But it's easy to work out the pushes there to get that forward. So when I say easy, it's not easy for someone who's never played football before. And I remember, you know, when I played on Fumble the first time somebody somebody chained forward a got a runner to score a one turn against me. I couldn't believe it. It blew my mind. <laughs> I thought I'd won, he had like seven players left. I thought I'd won, tabbed out, came back and saw that I'd drawn. I was like, what the hell? And then I had to watch the replay to find out how he did it, you know. But nowadays, with the internet and everything, you know, one turning, anyone can look at a guide on how to one turn or anything. And uh, certainly someone who goes to tournaments regularly should absolutely, absolutely be able to, um, you know, should should attempt the one turn in that situation, I think. Not, not I mean, you know, I'm, <laughs> you might be able to and not have gone for it, but I think he should have gone for it, absolutely. I don't, I don't recall whether he had no rerolls. I think he did have a reroll. I could understand the fear of your... Skink dying on a GFI, but you know, come on, it's such a, it's such a big, it's such a big thing to try. I think you should have tried. It does have nine players, doesn't he? he had a reserve, so he had nine players. I'm sure he had enough players to do it. I'm sure he did. Especially as he, he could have done it without the whole method. And I really I really don't like using I don't really like putting him in the hole. Um, I know some people do like it. But um 
think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't want to get hung up on it, but. So he's going for the quick score to try to win. Two players down. I'm not sure I like. I'm not sure I like the aggressiveness here. To be honest, I think I would try and. Uh, you know, stall it out and then invite the pressure on. And if you can get the knockdowns and get a cas or two of your own, maybe you can make it 1-1 um, one, one and get to overtime, I think. Uh, I guess you've always got the chance of skink BS, haven't you? Dodging him in the cage and one dicing him or two dicing him. And maybe turning him over for the win. But I think... You know, I think most people would go for kind of the safer play of trying to play for overtime. But, you know, again, fair enough. I mean, it's his decision, wasn't it? He would try to stall it out, got bogged down by the two-man advantage, not scored at all, and lose 2-0 and then think, oh, should have, should have gone for a quick score, so... I like how uh, Guinness sets up the skink box. Something I always like to to do and see. It was only on one dice though. So I don't like it so much. Also, I don't like chaining him out in front. I'd have chained the crocs in front, wouldn't you? Chain the crocs out. So he's... Yeah, I think I don't know. <laughs> So it looks like he's uh, going all in with this this blitz. He's just going to dodge away. And go for the early score. Or is he going to run back? He could run back, I guess. He's going for it. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine being able to roll dodges like that. I know I can. <laughs> right, so two turn and back on defence. I mean, to be fair, against normal teams, this is a more comfortable on defence. Um, but still, I would still, you know, almost always try to stall it out. I wouldn't be confident of a steal two players down in a lizard man mirror. I think maybe trying to get to OT was his best chance. But, you know, that's it. I just think that. He didn't think that. That's fine, isn't it? Doesn't mean either of us are wrong or anything like that. Just opinions. <laughs> like an asshole, everyone's got one. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want anyone to ever be annoyed by anything I've said. Because it's just, you know, it just is what it is, isn't it? I could look at it another day and think the opposite. <laughs> Another short kick. Got a touch back this time. Gets to give it to a Saurus. So now there's no cage diving shenanigans possibility. I like the tackler being away from the LOS there from Guinness's setup so that if there's a blitz or anything, it's got him ready. A very scary double skull there. <laughs> but not quads. And he's in a cage. With the ball on a strength four, dude. Without block, though. So. There's half a chance of the uphill. Doing something. Having to leave the skin bits of it is sad times, isn't it? 
Like Guinness here, safe play, you know. He doesn't have to do anything special now, does he? He's got a two man advantage. He's got six turns after this. Um, just play as safe as possible. I like that. Eats it, leaves three rerolls, and eats it. Wow. I'm not sure. Oh wait, it was. He didn't eat it. He just misclicked. <laughs> it was his choice. He just, he just fully misclicked. I thought he'd roll a double skull and chosen the skull. No, it was just an absolute, absolute misclick. Guinness feeling sporting to give his opponent a chance there. Wow. What a mistake. And you know, not a Blood Bowl mistake. Not a not a he's so bad at Blood Bowl mistake. But definitely a he's so bad at Blood Bowl 2 mistake. I have I have also chosen the skull before. <laughs> um, and it's frustrating because it's not it's not a Blood Bowl thing, is it? You would never you would never think, aha, what I need to do here to get forward is, is, to, is to pick the skull. It's just a misclick. Um, and yeah, pretty much sucks to have it then. But you know, not not pick, not misclicking is definitely, you know, it's what most most computer games are about, isn't it? Is is doing stuff like that. So yeah, fair enough. Definite Blood Bowl 2 mistake. I like Crocs block there before you move. Switch sides. He does play. He does play very solidly, Guinness. Apart from, <laughs> apart from picking the odd skull. And you know, having having the man advantage here was leading him to make better blocks and get the out blocking done. So it's it's a bit of a snowball, not a huge snowball, but it's a bit of a snowball effect. Getting the early removals. It's probably what why Junior felt he was forced to score earlier, thought he wouldn't score at all, which is which is fair, you know. Hope for a pickup fail and some pressure. It's I don't I don't think it was the wrong play at all to go for the early early score. Definitely not wrong. Game block on the big guys paying off. But that's it, that you're gonna have to use the crocs in, in the skin in the lizard man mirror, so I do quite like block and both taking block. Hurts their matchup against Wood Elves, but they'll probably won't even have to play Wood Elves either of these teams. The way the draw's opened up for them. Amazing draw for them. The fact that they got knee proxy to beat Ducky for them in their quarter of the draw. And then there's there's only Wood Elves in one quarter of the draw now, so only one semi-finalist can possibly be Wood Elves, and it's on the other side of the draw, so these two teams can only face Wood Elves in the final now, which is, you know, and by the final they've got so many more tools, they could have double tackle, they could have a block or sure hand skink, you know, and they, they're in a lot, lot better shot than they would normally have versus Wood Elves. Um, so yeah, it's definitely the draw is definitely working out, and that that's a big that's a big part of it as well. If uh, you know if the whoever wins here, you know they're facing lizard men or undead, and that's fine, you know. Whereas if they were if they were in the other another part of the draw, they could be playing wood elves or 
potentially Dark Elves or Amazons or whatever, and it's it's a lot harder match. So they have all the lizard men and, and undead coaches really have found themselves in a nice nice half of the draw. Apart from Neeprox, you got to play Ducky first, <laughs> and just the way it's, the way it's all shaken out, you know. At the end of the day, if if you can't judge anything by the 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 way, oh, I like the uphill here for the for the croc splits. Very nice. I, I I believe we're watching this live, and I did I did call this players being a, being the way, and he gets it very good. Um. Yeah, so you know, this was a, this was a good shot, wasn't it? Really, at the end of the day. Oh, I'm not sure about the GFIs of that reroll. But he had this chance by scoring early, didn't he? If he hadn't scored early, maybe he would have just been ground down and lost 2-0. So he gave himself a chance to be lucky there, do you know? But easy three dice on the ball with block and tackle, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah, I guess he had to make the GFIs. But, uh, well, no, because he's not out of range of the, the tackle. It's no GFIs. So... Probably should have punted it. <laughs> as it as it turned out. But uh, yeah, it's it's a funny old format, isn't it? You really can't judge anything, you know, just because just because the four lizard men won in the first round and only four of the twelve wood elves won in the first round, it really doesn't mean that lizards were a better pick than wood elves or anything, you know. At the end of the day you could you could run this tournament, you know, twenty times and get twenty different winners. And you could get vastly different win rates, um, you know, vastly different win rates between the races if you if you replayed it over and over. So, you know, because everyone's pretty close. Well, some people were further away than others, but everyone generally is a pretty high level, and uh, there's not that much difference in terms of skill. So it comes down to play and dice, doesn't it? And you know, huge, huge misclick by Guinness in another game would have cost him the game, maybe, you know. Or at another time. Another time or another game, that, that cost him the game. But, you know, the, for example, first round we had Ducky, Spartaco and Notorious Newball losing. Now, I think they all had the, the worst of the dice. That's not taking anything away from the people who beat them, who all played well. But, if they had had the better dice, maybe all three of those win. And now it suddenly looks like a Wood Elf friendly tournament, you know, so it's really, there's really, I've, I've said this since the start, there's really nothing to be taken away from all of this really, you know. Obviously humans were, were very popular, which is unusual, so that would say, that would kind of say that humans are pretty strong in the format. If that's what all the, all the good players who qualified thought was a good idea to use. Safe to say, that may be a bit too good. Did you just score here? Could do. You could just score and avoid the chance of any BS. Seeing as Junior didn't try the one turn, I think I would score. Like, it's really low risk to stall. It is really low risk to stall, and he could have, he could get a riot, and he did play for the riot last time. But how low risk is it? One, two... One, two, three, four, five... Oh God. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, because we can't reach it all. So it's just a croc split. We could croc split. Oh, he did that to try and power him. To get the crocs onto the ball, but I think crocs blitz was the better idea. Maybe. Ooh, I don't like that. Because he had to get the power to free up the crocs, didn't he? I mean, he had that. He was activated him first anyway. I think maybe just tagging the Saurus was better. To be honest, I think he should just tag the Saurus. Oh, and he fails. 
<laughs> he feels that Jay finds them himself. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure it wasn't better to just score from Guinness there. But I mean, you know, he felt he was safe. I guess he didn't. Th he didn't spot that chain out, which I didn't. Um, but then I only had. I only had mere seconds to look at it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would have been tempted just to score, just because he hadn't tried the one turn. Anymore. And with a three man advantage, even if he'd gone to overtime, and even if he'd lost the toss, I think Guinness would have fancied his chances. So yeah, you know, I think he did. I think honestly, Guinness did play better that game. Um, you know, now how marginal it is, who knows? You know, it's not like it's not like it was a complete embarrassment or anything. You know, it was a really close game, and maybe if the dice had gone the other way, but you know, it wasn't so crazy to get those extra things from the extra blocks. Um, you know, on another day, Junior plays high risk, high reward, and he gets the high reward. So you know, it really is. You know, it just is what it is, isn't it? I don't want to offend anybody. Um, you know, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.